Right, I've got to be honest with you, I think that last hour in particular was the most terrifying I think I've ever had in my life. I can't think of anything more terrifying. Day 23. Do I look tired? Because I feel tired. I had a funny sort of night really, I don't know why, but anyway. Uh, we were planning to get off same time, five o'clock this morning, but uh, there was a bit of rain. It was raining it. It started raining about half past three, so it's about half past five. So we waited till the rain had finished and then got ourselves packed up, so a little bit of a later start. It can't be helped. But today is a gradual climb all the way up, uh, following the river first of all, and then we're going up to the San Louis Pass. We may go over it today, it depends on the weather really. We'd like to get over it today if we can, but we'll see. But we should get ever improving scenery as we move through the day. Of you, which is there. Try to work out here how to cross over this river, which is very fast flowing and quite deep. Fortunately, we managed to cross that without too many problems. It's quite fast flowing, but it was fine. A much easier crossing. A much easier crossing. We've left um, Eddiesville Trailhead where we had second breakfast and now it's a long climb all the way up to the San Louis Pass. So that's our plan today. It's about it's about 12 to 13 miles. Um, gradual ascent all the way up, well until the last bit. So our plan is to really try and get there today if we can. Uh, but that will depend on the weather. But at the moment it's beautiful. Following the uh, Cochapota River again all the way up, it's lovely. We've just had a nice little lunch break here. It's just starting to cloud over a little bit and fill in, so it might affect our plans this afternoon. But we're gonna to head up to another three or four kilometers and see what it looks like then. Right, we're about 11,800 feet. Um, we need to get over the col in front, but as you can see, it's pretty black. Uh, there's some thunder knocking about. So we've pitched the tent here. Uh, gonna have a brew, see if we can sit this out. It looks like there's a, a storm heading our way. There's one just sort of rumbling down the valley as well. I'll show you down here, it's just kind of skirted us, so. Yeah, I think we're going to just uh, sit it out for a couple of hours, see what happens. Right, I've got to be honest with you, I think that last hour in particular was the most terrifying I think I've ever had in my life. I can't think of anything more terrifying. Um, we had a sort of second storm come right over the top of our heads, just I'm still shivering now thinking about it. I don't know how many lightning strikes there were. L just loads and loads. The noise was unbelievable. Not only from the massive amounts of hail that we had, 
but from the thunder just ridiculous and two lightning strikes to, to my left hand side that you could the shock waves just went right through your body I tell you it was terrifying anyway thankfully we got on our sleeping mats as we were supposed to do the tent fortunately stayed up um, just about um, and it looks now like it's passed through and it's brightening up so we're just going to just reassess things at the moment and just talk things through and work out what we're going to do um, but not not a pleasant experience at all Right, after the passing of the storm, um, everything seems to settle down, so we're gonna try and get over this pass now, so it doesn't leave us a really long day tomorrow. Um, I suppose the only thing that's wet is the tent. I've got a wet fleece. Apart from that, I think we're okay. So, take a deep breath. Let's get over this pass. Oh, I've reached the San Louis Pass. What a bad trim we've had from the weather today. Just as we got here, it absolutely started tipping it down again. So I don't know, whew, absolutely exhausting. But anyway, we've pitched, it's damp. The skies are clearing as usual in the evening. No doubt it'll be beautiful tomorrow. Uh, but that's a tough day, very tough day mentally, I think, more than anything. But we're here, we're pitched up. We're going to get straight to sleep, no messing. Day 24, we made a very early start this morning, got to the top of the first sort of saddle, uh, just as it was getting light. Uh, it won't be the early start because I want to try and get finished before the fun thunderstorms come, it's quite an exposed section today, <coughs> so that's the reason for the really early start. Uh, <laughs> there was another thunderstorm passed through in the night. Uh, Kept me awake, I think Jude have slept through it. But, again, beautiful mornings. To, to make the mess of these beautiful mornings. But we're now on our second steep climb of the day. But heading slowly towards Spring Creek Trailhead. Um, and a bit of a break at Lake City.
Okay, we've reached our high point for the day. Uh, now, second part is we've got to drop down and we're across this, it's called the snow mesa. Very flat area and that'll take us to the end of the stage today, end of our day. Having our lunch spot on the edge of this snow mesa. Um, just looking back to where we've come, see that behind me. Uh, and I've also got this, we've also got this lovely view out in front of us. Over to San Juan Mountains. Very impressive. Ah, oh, it's been a nice day though. It's been quite hard, there's a lot of ascents early on, but yeah, some, probably some of the best views I've had so far, I would say. Yeah, so we're going to uh, clear up our rubbish and then head down to, um, where is it we're going to? Spring Creek. Spring Creek's trailhead to meet Mike and Fran and then a day off in Lake City. Oh. 